Hello everyone. Um, just uh, just had a nice bath. In case you're interested. <laughs> I wasn't going to do this, but I thought might as well have a beer, chat to uh, some of my closest friends from around the world. Where are you watching from? I'd like to know. South Africa, Canada, uh, where else, what can we, where's the, where's the furthest one away, have we got a New Zealand, that would be the furthest, I'm in London, I mean from me, obviously, it's mainly, it's mainly, um, it's mainly North Americans, and Brits. Toronto. Love Toronto. Oh, I was meant to be playing there next year. Everything's moved back. Vancouver, Toronto, obviously. New York, Madison Square Garden. Oh, LA, Chicago. All postponed. Everything's a year later. I mean, it's not like it's not like we've missed a year of our life. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't just it didn't it just it just it hasn't just jumped to twenty twenty one. We had twenty twenty. Um hopefully you all try to make the most of it. Uh what are you gonna do? Some people are born, live and die through terrible circumstances their whole existence is dreadful that's why at the beginning i i wouldn't have these multi-millionaire actors whinging i feel sad i feel sad in my mansion i like to swim i've been to my gym but i want to be on the telly <laughs> uh good uh, what was I going to tell you? Um, oh, I was thinking of doing another... It's funny, I'm thinking about gigs all the time. Things that require there not to be a pandemic on. Um, so I'm doing a warm-up next week. I hope I hope we make it to that. It's, it's threatening. Parts of the UK are being lo locked down again properly. Um, it's a socially distanced gig. So... Uh, we we'll see, and if that goes well, and the venue works, and we don't get locked down in London, um, I'm going to do some of these things live, sort of cross between this and deadly serious, um, just me talking bollocks. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to try some of the generic questions. I ask people for generic questions that I can ask the other guests and that. Um, and most of the questions that I'm asked on the the Twitter live certainly uh, are things like. You're abducted by aliens. They're sticking their fingers up your ass. You've got to swap your face with either Kim Jong Un or Oprah Winfrey. Which one do you choose? Just, <laughs> just stuff like that. I answer them. I think about them. I treat every question deadly seriously. Um. So, uh, yeah. Um. There was one good one that I think I might use. Uh, a time traveller comes to your house and you know it's real, it exists, and you know he's real. And he's 25 years in the future. What one question do you ask him? Good one, that, isn't it? It's good. So it's stuff like that. And it'll end up with me talking about me getting old and nearly dying and living in a fucking bucket. But, hopefully, um, live it would be a nice hour or two, just uh, just sitting, watching Three Idiots, Talking Bollocks, which is what I think I'm going to call it, Talking Bollocks. Now, for Americans, bollocks is a slang word for balls, yes, testicles. 
Um, but it, it also means rubbish, nonsense, talking bollocks. Um, so uh, that's that title. So you can see it's going to be highbrow. Like when I do those, you know, conversations with Richard Dawkins and Lawrence Krauss and <laughs> Brian Cox. It's going to be like that. <laughs> um, other news. Cat settled in brilliantly. Our new cat. It was it was meant to be fostering through the lockdown. I knew it wouldn't happen. Within three days, it sat on my lap. And that was it. So we're keeping it pickle. And uh, now she's been long enough, she's she's getting her own personality. Do you know what I mean? You, She's doing stuff regularly. She's got to know the house. And she takes a shortcut to, to my lap through the gap in the cushions on the sofa. Things like that. She likes fighting the duvet. Um, so, uh, yeah, pickle. Thanks for your lovely tweets about that. Uh, oh, maybe you could ask me a question because um, either my eyesight's getting better or the light's improved. I can actually read the comments now. So uh, you'll be <laughs> you'll be pleased to know. Uh, I've I've uh, I've nearly written Afterlife Three. Well, I have, well, I have written it, but you've got to rewrite it to make it good. Um, that's it, really. Uh, Dubai. How long does it take you to write each script for Afterlife? Well, you're thinking about it all the time, but when you get down to it, and I don't sit in a room with a a laptop, you know, like a you know, like a novelist, um, I, uh, I I think about it all the time, if you know what I mean. And I have ideas and I, I jot them down. Um, so probably six months working. I mean, if, if I add all the minutes up that I ever think about it and write it, honestly, it's probably an hour a day. It's, 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 it's no more than that. And the closer you get to it, and then the pre-production, then you do a few hours, and then, you know, pre-production is like nearly four days, and filming is is more than four days, you know, um, for me anyway. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Uh, so, uh, six months at my rate. Uh, and I actually, uh, it would have taken a year, because I was going away gigging, all over the world, um, but because that didn't happen, uh, I, I I finished it in uh, half the time really. Um, I was thinking about it's uh, twenty years since David Brent first hit our screens, 9th of July, uh, two thousand and one. So it'll be twenty years next July. And I thought about doing a, a one-off gig, one-off David Brent and Foregone Conclusion gig. Uh, the others were great. I don't want to do too many, but I think that would be it and the last one ever. Just because I'm too <laughs> old to stand up and sing. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know what you're thinking. Mick Jagger, I know, but he's... He's not carrying any weight, is he, Jagger? He probably weighs about seven and a half stone. <laughs> I'm lumbering around 13 stone. <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> uh, and also, he's, he's been healthy for years, hasn't he? He gave up booze, didn't he? Like 30 years ago. Uh, so that's why he can do it at 75. <laughs> <laughs> Equality Street, thank you, yeah. Um, right, that'll do. I told people on Twitter the other day, like, like um, I'm sometimes squinting, which is, I, I probably should wear glasses, I don't know, who cares. And I often rub my eyes after a bath. It's because I, I discovered I'm allergic to the bubble bath. 
but I still use it because I like bubbles. And that's like a metaphor for life, isn't it? It's, it hurts and it's bad for you, but it's fun. Um, <laughs> so, cheers. Thanks for following. Follow me on Twitter. Um, uh, be nice to animals. And uh, see you soon. Cheers. Tatty bye, everyone. Tatty bye.